Hello guys, it's Nantel's Nation. In this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about Boss Rush. But the most important thing you need to know before we start is that there is a giveaway, the 10k subscribers giveaway. I give a Robux character for the first place and 500 speed rate tokens to the second place. So make sure you join the giveaway. How you do it, you need to subscribe to my channel, like this video, join my Discord server and see all the details about the giveaway over there. Without anything else, let's start. Okay, so I did a video about boss rush before, but I want to do again because I want to be more clear. I will tell you a few things that you need to know about boss rush. This video is more likely for beginners. There is a lot of players that start the game every day, a lot of new players. So trust me, they will need to know all of this because I didn't know in the beginning. And for those of you who already know, watch the entire video to support and maybe you will enjoy too. Okay, let's continue. So, boss rush, you have three bosses that you need to kill in the boss rush. So, at the first time you do it, you have a boss, you finally kill him, and then there is another boss, and you finally kill him, and there is another boss. You don't know how many bosses you have. Some of you don't read this sentence like the three, three bosses. So, like me in the beginning i just killed the boss and another boss and it took me like 10 minutes and i never know when it will be end so you just need to kill three bosses that's it now every day you get a free entry one free entry if you want to play the boss rush so every day you can enter one time unless you have tickets that you can enter with how to get tickets you can drop them from the raids or you just can buy from the boss rush shop you can buy it with gems and with tokens now do me a favor don't buy boss rush tickets with ray tokens just don't spend your ray tokens on it okay spend your gems if you need to do boss rush and you have no tickets just spend gems on it okay so we are already in the boss rush shop let's talk about it there is the all the characters you can buy with 3000 boss rush tokens and you can buy the mystic card and eternal tree and gold so first thing don't buy gold okay never buy gold in any shop don't buy gold you will get a lot of gold as higher as level you are now try to drop the characters you can drop them with a very low percentage from the boss rush but try to drop them if you can't if you're exhausted so after getting 3000 boss rush tokens buy a character that you like which character you should buy first i will do another video about it okay now don't buy the eternal tree you don't need it you can drop it and it's not the best accessory in the game the best accessory in the game right now is the maneuver gear is the best for bosses and the most modes you do here are boss rush and raids so try to drop this maneuver gear from the titan raid but it's not relevant for this video after getting all the characters spend your boss rush tokens on mystic cards don't save boss rush tokens for future characters because the game didn't change the characters like from the beginning of it i think like two years so don't save boss rush tickets for new characters i think if the game will change someday the characters it will announce it before and then you will have time to get them and i think if there will be a new characters it will not let the old character disappear and you will have a lot of time to get them so after getting all the characters spend your boss rush tokens on mystic cards it might gives you very good mystic cards okay now let's talk about the boss rush itself but before we continue make sure you like this video subscribe join my discord server join the giveaway and join the channel membership if you really really like to support me and let's continue okay first thing i will not do the boss rush now fast 
I just want to talk. So there is no meaning about the score you do in the end. If you do it in one minute, five minutes, there is no meaning. You can drop the boss rush characters even if you do it in five minutes and if, even if you do it in 30 seconds. Okay, probably the more time it take you, the less rewards you will get. I think this is how they do it but I remember I got Kokushibo like I was level 30 or 40 I got Kokushibo and it took me like seven minutes to do the boss rush so don't panic if you do it in a lot of time now about the bosses you saw Broly now it's Gilgamesh there is Alice and Kokushibo who is the easiest boss I almost died who is the easiest boss to kill? Broly and Gilgamesh are the easiest boss. Now, in the beginning, Gilgamesh is the worst boss because it's really hard to escape his attacks. But believe me, after you do it a million times, Broly and Gilgamesh are the easiest bosses because they stand in the one place and you kill them like in 10 seconds. I will show you after Kokushibo. Like you see, I did it in two minutes, I got boss rush tokens, now I will do it again and I will say that the easiest boss are like I said Gilgamesh and Broly and then is Kokushibo and then the hardest is Alice. Alice do a lot of dashes, Kokushibo do dashes too, Alice is more annoying, Broly and Gilgamesh just stand in one place so like you see here it's really easy to kill them if you are higher level and if you are good enough. Now, if you want to do the best record of yourself, if you get Broly, Gilgamesh and Kokushibo, there is a better chance for you to do in your best record, in the best time. Like you see the dash of Alice. It's really annoying. I did it in 33 seconds. I think I get the same amount of boss rush tokens now and when I did in 2 minutes. So I think there is no a meaning of the time. If you get gold instead of something, that means that you got a characters that you already have. If I have Gilgamesh for example, and after the game I will drop money, I will drop gold. That means I supposed to drop Gilgamesh, but I, al I already have him. So instead they give money. Now about the characters, the boss rush characters, they are not the best in the game. Um, of course, raid characters are, the most of the raid characters are stronger and better than the boss rush characters, but they are really strong, like Kokushibo is really strong and if you are a beginner you will need to get Kokushibo it will help you a lot but they are not the strongest characters in the game if you have a raid characters so I did a video who is the best raid characters so you can watch it and decide who to use the top raid characters are better than the boss rush characters Okay, so I think that's it for this video. I didn't talk about the characters themselves, who is the strongest, who is the weakest, who is good on what. I will do it, I will do it in another video. I just want to show you around Boss Rush, everything you need to know. Because I didn't know it as a beginner, so now I want you to know it. Now, to make the video more interesting, I will buy a Mystic card. Why? Because I have no reason. But let's buy one for this video. I go to the Bosra shop. I have, I already have all the Bosra characters. Don't buy gold, don't buy the Eternal Tree. And let's hope. This card is okay, is not, is, is average. I have a video that I talk about the best substates for cards that are Critical chance, critical damage, cooldown reduction, assist cooldown reduction, and attack. Now you see I have three of those. And this card have very bad substates. I will sell this card. I will sell also this card. And let's try again. 
אוקיי, אסיסט קולדן רדקשן, קריטיקל צ'אנס קולדן רדקשן, קריטיקל דמג' and EXP. The EXP ruined my card, if I got here attack it would be the best card in the game by substates. All are in gray color so it's not the highest for each sub but it's really good card and I will consider to exchange it with another card. Okay guys that is for this video, I really hope it helped, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did please like this video, subscribe, join my discord server, join the giveaway and see you in the next video, goodbye.